Yes, yeah, yeah. Aaron is back to do something a little bit different. Most of you know that I have recently gotten into K-pop. Over the past couple of years, I should say, because in 2016, when I was in the hospital with my rejection issue, because I'm a liver transplant, for those that are new, liver and kidney, actually, for those that are new. But when I was having a rejection episode and I was in the hospital, I discovered K-pop and started listening to a lot of different artists. These are going to be some of my personal favorites, and some I consider myself a part of the fandom, and others I do not. And that is because of certain reasons that I will list later. So, the one that got me into K-pop, Girls' Generation, Sonia Sute, SNSD, however you say their names, I personally feel like I am a Soan. Along, there's just like two other ones that I feel like I'm a part of their fan base. The Girls' Generation was definitely the first one where I felt like I was part of the community. I loved watching Socified. I, I think I watched almost all of their videos, actually. I'm going to try to reach out to Soy, see if we can't meet up sometime, because I absolutely love her. And that. What I need to start doing was listening to their like radio thing with uh, DJ Ava. But yeah, that is a fandom I consider myself part of wholeheartedly. Ears ringing. But I discovered them first through their song Mr. Mister, which actually had come out in 2014. The next group is Vix, and I can say that I am a proud starlight. I absolutely love Vix. I'm sad that N is going to be going into military service soon, but I understand it's his culture that he has to go in. It's part of, like, mandatory. So, I understand, but it still kind of sucks. But... Oh, and my biases in Girls' Generation, because I did not say this. My biases are Tiffany, Taeyeon, Yuri, and Hyoyeon. Sunny is a close fifth. Like, Hyoyeon and Sunny are tied for me. I like Sohyeon, after that, then Yuna. Then Jessica. I liked Jessica when she was a part of it, but now that she's doing solo stuff, I'm like, mm. I mean, I like her solo stuff, but that's a tangent in, in and of itself that I'm not going to get into because I don't want to piss off any so ons. So yeah, for Vix, my biases are in Leo, especially. Leo is my number one, then in, then Robbie. Then it's Draw blank. Yuck. Hongbin. I feel like I'm missing one. Okay, this is gonna bug me. Which one am I missing? I have a bad brain force today, guys. I don't know why. I just am. But yeah, Leo and Robbie are definitely, or Leo and N, I should say, are definitely my top two. I have loved Leo since the beginning. N has kind of definitely grown on me. Ken, God. Why was he the one I was forgetting? I love him too. So if we were to like break down my favorites with, we'll do Girls' Generation first. It would be Tiffany, Taeyang, Yuri, Hyoyeon, Sunny, Sohyun, Suyun, Yuna. I think that's everybody. And 
than Jessica, of course. Now for Vix, it is N and Leo tied as my biases. After that, it is Robbie and Chuck tied. Then it is Hongbin and Ken tied. So for me, it's really hard to pick specific members like in order from each group, but Vix especially, my gosh, because I love Vix. I've actually gotten my mom into Vix, which is which surprised me because she's never been a big fan of like Asian language stuff that I like. So for her to actually be into the group, I think she just likes the artistic music videos, but still, I'm very was very surprised by that. And for Gross Generation, my favorite song of theirs, because I want to go ahead and put this out there. Favorite song of theirs is probably a tie between Mr. Mr. because that's what got me into K pop in the first place. And Divine. Like those are my top two. After that is their debut song. For Vix, my favorites are Hyde, Voodoo Doll, absolutely love that one. I know most people don't like it based off the title, but the music video is kind of cool. And also like Dynamite, just for something different. And I also love Love Equation. Most people do not like that song, but I absolutely freaking love it. And Ken hitting that note, oh my gosh. Next group that I feel like I am a part of is BTS. Obviously, repping Jin Lopa shirt, but, or Jin Young Lopa, I know he likes all fix, but, definitely got into BTS probably late 2016, because I had the rejection issue beginning of 2016. It gets dry really quick. But, yeah. Definitely a BTS fan now, even more so that their merch is becoming easier to obtain here in the US. SM is doing that with some groups. Unfortunately, no Gross Generation stuff yet. SM, please, would you do some Gross Generation merch? But, I am a proud army. I have yet to be at one of their concerts due to the fact here in the States when they announce a tour date, it gets sold out within like two seconds. Or the seats that are left are so expensive that I can't afford it. One of the two. Just like with another group I'm going to be talking about. I hate my ankle hurts. Sorry. <laughs> fell against the car yesterday, so I'm a little sore. But yeah, my bias in BTS, I feel like you're not the most common picks. But it was just who I was drawn to, and that is Jin and Namjoon. RM, Rap Monster, however you want to call him. I call him Namjoon because he said he hated being called Rap Monster. Now, when they first debuted, he didn't mind it, but now he's like, eh. So, I absolutely love Jin, ripping his shirt. I want to say Namjoon's is Koya. Any army out there that are watching this video, please feel free to correct me. But I want to say Namjoon's is Koya. This one's name is RJ, for those that don't know. And I love both of them. I actually got drawn to Namjoon first, but then when I was watching some of their, like, interviews and stuff, Jin just really tugged at my heartstrings. Like, I absolutely love Jin so much. Not even for the worldwide handsome thing. For world most handsome, what, whatever it's called. That's not even why. I just... 
like his personality the most. I'm going to say this now, and for those that stand this member, I apologize. My least favorite member in BTS is Suga. Now, I think his raps within the BTS songs are done well. I think he is an excellent rapper. My issue was when he did his solo stuff. I felt it was too rough, too... It was like, like too rough, too strong, almost like... This is going to sound bad, but almost an Eminem style rap. That may have been his inspiration, I don't know. And for those that are saying it's a different rapper, I apologize. But to me, that's just how it comes across. I have never been a super big fan of Suga. Excuse me. So, those that stand him, feel free to flame me in the comments if you want to, because I know some people stand him. I stand Jin and Namjoon, people stand Suga. Next group is a pink. I am a proud panda. I have followed them since I discovered K-pop. My first song of theirs was Love, L-U-V. Absolutely adored that song. It was done really well. My bias in that in the group are Bomi and Unji. I think that's how you say their names. I know Bomi, but I think that's how you say Unji's name. And I also love a lot of Unji's solo stuff. And I wish they would let Bomi do some solo stuff, but I've heard she's done some acting before. I could be wrong about that, but I want to say she's done acting before. But I absolutely love their music. Their most recent track that came out, the ooh, I love that song. The music video is kind of creepy, but I like it. Okay, now for a couple of solo artists that I'm on in the video off because I can ramble on about this for a long time. First is an obvious one for me. Boa. Juan Boa. However you want to say her name. Love her. I can respect the fact that she started this industry at 13. You know, she was young. She didn't understand how the industry worked. Now she's almost 33, even though she doesn't look it, she looks amazing. And she's still singing and you know doing what she wants to do, at least acting and singing in both Korean and Japanese, because she does both. And it just floors me how talented Boa is. Like I wish I could actually meet her at one of her concerts one day in the future, because I just I love her. Next one is Taemin from Shiny. I know I did not mention Shiny, but I am a proud Shaywall, and I will admit to loving Shiny. The reason I had not mentioned them prior is because of the fact that I could ramble on about them and everything that happened with them, and I didn't want to make this video crazy long, so... But I'm a proud Che Wall. Love came in. My bias before what happened was Jung Yun. Rest in peace. Now it is a tie between Taemin and Onu. I loved Onu for the fact that he tried to get Jung Yun the help that he needed. He tried to be the support there for him when SM was not being the support for him. So I love him for that. And Taemin was always tied with Jung Hyun for me in terms of bias. So love love them. I love Ki and Minho as well. Don't don't at me. It's just really really hard for me to choose. But yeah. I love Taemin's new song, Want, that just came out. I absolutely love it. He is an amazing dancer to me. 
he just make any he can make any dance look fluid and make it look amazing. Okay. And then the last solo I'm trying to think. The last solo artist or two the Chunga. She was on Produce 101, she was part of IOI, and now she's doing solo work. And her song that just came out, Gotta Go, love it to pieces. I absolutely love it. She did so good on this song. Love the concept for her. I think it fits her well. It is just amazing to me. And I honestly, she's another artist I wish I could meet in person. But she hasn't made any announcements for a tour anytime soon, in the States anyway. I'm sure she's made an announcement for a tour in Asia. So, but yeah, those are some of my favorite K-pop artists. I'm not going to continue because this video is already almost 17 minutes and if I kept going it would be crazy rambly. So with all that being said hopefully you guys enjoyed me talking about some of my favorite groups. Maybe it's some groups you didn't listen to that you'll check out or solo artists you'll check out now. And with all that being said I will talk to you guys soon in another video in another time. Bye, Roses. I'm young.